assalamu alaikum friends in this video i will tell you how we can use the command sel in tia portal v16 first of all we will create a new project sel command in tia tia portal v16 and then create in previous lectures already I am told how we can create the new project but as a long time we will not discuss about this one and now let's repeat and make practice for new program how we can create first of all we have to be add a new device When we are creating a add new device, we have to go to the controllers. First of all, in which PLC you like to use, you can choose it here. S7, 1200, 1500 or which any of that and then click CPU. I will choose that one, CPU 15, 15 2 pn as for simulator because of I don't have physical PLC right now. And we will practice in this PLC. And later on, as we got the PLC new, the we will physical test. It will take some little time. And as you got the PLC here, hardware, you can select this one, and you can first download to the PLC this one. And also that IP addresses you have to be checking in. Double click on it or you can go in properties. Also you can go here Ethernet address and you can see here is a 192.168.1.1. I will not change this address and simply Oh, sorry I, I directly start for downloading first we have to be select that our simulation because of when you make that simulation for using PLC sim if you have a physical PLC no problem you can directly go to the selections if you don't have you can select this one direction click start search and as your communication will be complete you can click it on load now your program is successfully download to the PLC and then click finish and then we have to be simply go in your program blocks and that's the main organization block where you can start the program or you can create here first of all as per discuss we have to be go in logic operations and we are discussing about that SEL command SEL command what he says SEL means select selects one of the inputs one of the inputs means input 0 or input 1 depending on a switch G input and copies to content to the output let's check with an example first of all I will take this command and here I select the data first of all we have to be choose which data we like to be use I will choose the tangent and here also you can select also from here and also if you like to from execute directly you can use it here simply click it here and make it some branch and here you can select that input and you can give this name m100.0 I will give the name and then 
you can simply click and drag it here and now your input will be ready at this one and here you have to give data m if you're using tint md 20 for example and let's md 30 and which you take the result md 35 as your serial you can choose this one and then click download to the plc it's very simple and very easy and then click finish and make the execution on when you start your simulation you have to be choose your plc in run condition and simply see here is my 100.0 is now not enabled when i make it enabled after which data i will select it here it will be forward to the this data register md35 for example in this close condition this is what's the function of this command when i choose this uh, in uh, um, means any when it's close condition here any data when you write for example i will write here 20 when i write here 20 it will be passed directly this uh, 20 data to the md35 and if you need for and for example this is the this data register is coming from field in your any value this can be do a uh, analog value or what value and here is your right is you can write value for example 26 here is 26 and this is 20 when it's close condition this is your execution is not on it will be passed this value first your input first input is for example 20 or you can make it this this one 30 any this field can be from field it's the 30 and as you give the execution from m0 100.0 modify then as you make it execution it will pass that second value because of this selection which selection we used any when in stop condition this value will be passed and when start condition this second value will be passed and now here for example i write it here 45 value it will be passed continuously 45 values and as you this close this well, uh, command uh, execution stop for example this also you can put in if you have a physical plc you can put it i0.0 or any any condition you can put see and when i close this execution now m100.0 is not on it passed the 30 value if here is for example 60 60 values it will be passed continuously 60 value and if as you give the execution make this on it will be passed that uh, second value and also this uh, in uh, when you make using in the program or something for let's one more example i will explain to you how we can use this command in the um, programs our uh, in one network i will make make it one more network and here we will use that move operation math function comparator commands for example we will choose this compare command the first command we will use and we have to first of define then which data we will like to use d int or int or what i tell it here when 45 value is my at md35 md35 my one input needs to be energized q0.0 Q0.0 sorry Q0.0 
Q zero dot zero and one more here I will choose a next row and compare the command sixty for example and my MD MD thirty five md35 and my q0.1 will be energized q0.1 needs to be energized and download to the PLC and then click load and make the simulation on and see now my md35 is value at that time running 45 and my q0.0 .0 is on because of 45 is from second value when i change it here little any 35 35 this value is not now equals with this data register md35 and my q0.0 is off now as i give here for example i will give it here 45 45 and this is now execution is coming and here is th this is now when executes this value pass 35 and as i stop the execution for example see as i stop the execution this value now passed in md35 from md20 and its q0.0 is on and for example this value i put that 60 i will put it here 60 but this 60 will be no pass because of this now execution not have this value is coming from field this value is passed as i make it execution for example i will make it one now this is stopped and our q0.1 is now on condition so basically this command is used for selection yani when you give the input from the field and you execution made from your panel or somewhere or sensors or whatever this can be possible this m100.0 here you can i0.0 .0 or i0.1 or which sensor may be you like to use when this sensor is coming this value i need to be passed and when this input is not have this value need to be done that's maybe an example in your vfd speed also maybe somewhere you put to any when your box or something uh, going out the um, conveyor and the conveyors in divided two parts any and first part you need the uh, uh, reduced speed any you need 20 speed for example and when you when your box like to be start in next uh, uh, conveyor this motor you need the speed fast and that time you can make execution off or on and in this uh, uh, purpose you can use this command yani i hope you complete understand about this command if you not understand anything you can send me message in comment section and i will give you feedback as soon as possible this is very simple and very easy. Thanks for watching. Allah Hafiz.